let's just say it's been an unprecedented time. Uh, it's a, something we've both worked through. We have two incredible races in Oklahoma, and we've both worked through these uh, tough decisions of what to do next and can we make a race that's safe. And while we worked really literally through the night and the last couple of weeks nearly around the clock trying to figure out how to make that happen, uh, I think if you saw the numbers today with the 1,100 plus deaths and 17 new deaths, 1,100 new cases and 17 deaths, that makes it impossible to run these races. And the Oklahoma City National Memorial Marathon is announcing today that we will go virtual and we'll go through those, I'll let Jordan get through those details in just a minute. Destiny, I'll pitch it to you for the Tulsa news. Uh, the Tulsa Route 66 has also decided to go virtual. I will echo what Carrie has said. It just seems like it's an unsafe time at this point. Uh, we were super hopeful in the beginning, but we are going to move to virtual. Um, we have a lot of details to go over as well. Um, as you all know, we're a 501c3 charitable organization, and so that was heavily influencing our decision as well. Um, it just was a huge strain on our resources for the marathon or for the city with the police department and our medical with, you know, the cases going through the roof and is enough to handle that come November. So um, working with Oklahoma City Memorial for the Oklahoma Standard, we thought this was the best way to communicate that news to you. And we can give you some details as well. Thanks, thanks, Destiny. I think for us in Oklahoma City and for the folks in Tulsa, um, I think we all want to make sure the health of our community is the number one priority of our runners, our volunteers, of the making sure the infrastructure in both of our cities and in Oklahoma stays in place. Uh, community health is the number one benefit. And we've said that all along is that we, we will make those decisions um, as we can. And the reason we've waited and waited, people are like, why didn't you make the call when Boston did, everybody else did, is our numbers have been different. And we've tried to watch that and thinking if we get long further into it, then can you can we get our numbers down and be able to make the race? And ultimately, you know, we had to decide uh, that we could not do that. And we did not want to be a spreader event. We don't want to be a super spreader event. And so I, I just let Jordan go over the, the details of the Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon. The race is still on, it's just virtual. And we think we can make it an incredible experience both in Oklahoma City and in Tulsa. And we're gonna do that together. And that's why we come here together today. Uh, as much as we did 25 years ago in Oklahoma City, uh, we, we were together as one, there was no turnpike. And I think that's an important thing to say today is, for runners out there and you're disappointed, we are too. Um, this is not what we wanted. It's not certainly not, not how we had envisioned our 20th year or Tulsa had envisioned their 15th year. This is not what we wanted to do, but we wanted to take every possible look at trying to salvage these races to be able to run them as tra traditional races. And that can't be done. But Jordan for Oklahoma City has come up with a great plan about how to run that virtually. And I'll pitch it to you, Jordan. As um, Carrie and Destiny mis mentioned, this has um, been hard for us as um, I know it's been for you all training. Um, we hear you and we feel you. This is just, it's not fun, but we um, do pledge to you guys to make the 20th anniversary race a virtual race that is um, something that you will remember. Um, our races are run to remember and we're really excited to be rolling over um, more details over the coming days. And so if you are a registered runner currently um, for the 2020 OKC Memorial Race, um, everyone will be transferred into the virtual event to receive all of the limited edition 20th anniversary swag. Everything will be mailed to you um, to participate in the virtual race between October 4th and 18th. And so, um, Basically, what that means is we hope that you guys um, continue to run and use this as a unique opportunity to get people from um, your family and friends from around the country that might not have ever came to run to come and run with you on this uh, 20th anniversary virtually. Um, if you, for some reason, do not want to participate in the virtual race, we understand and have options for you. Um, you can either donate your registration to the National Memorial Museum, um, which is a 501c3 and all of the proceeds benefit um, the memorial, or you can defer your registration to either 2021 or 2022. 
um, you will need to make your decision by August 12th. And um, we'll be having a lot more details following um, the announcement right now that you will get, um, that you'll see. We'll be here to answer any questions you have. Just a couple other things to highlight before um, I give it back over to Destiny to talk a little bit more about um, what their um, virtual race will look like. We will still um, have the uh, Governor's Relay Challenge and we're still gonna honor the challenge coin um, for anyone who ran in 2019, the full or the half and anyone who participates in the virtual full or half will receive their challenge coin. And um, what we're most excited about is we are still um, going to be honoring the Oklahoma Standard Medal. So if you run the full or the half um, virtually with OKC, um, October 4th through the 18th, and then again um, with Route 66, the full or the half in November, um, you'll receive your special Oklahoma Standard Medal with um, your Route 66 race packet. So um, I'll kind of give it over to Destiny for a bit. Okay, as you all know, this is our 15th year anniversary. Um, so it's a special one for us. And we had a new medal series that was coming out um, with Buck Adam. And we want to hold on to that a little bit. And we want everybody to be able to experience that when the time comes. So we're gonna push that back until 2021. We've come out with a whole new medal. And um, that is something that we're gonna have out on our social media here in just a few moments. We're calling this our 14 and a half year anniversary. Um, so everybody will get that special medal and swag piece. Um, it's gonna be an awesome event. Um, we gotta make the best of this. Um, so with that, you have three different options as well. Um, you can go virtual and get that awesome new swag that we're putting out and you can see on Facebook. Um, or you can donate to Kicks for Kids, which is our children's running program that we launched last year with huge success um, with that. You guys have been great with that and helping us support those kids. Um, or you can defer your registration to 2021 or 2022. When you choose to go virtual, you will also get a $15 coupon code that will be mailed or emailed out to you for 2021's race. Those also have to, your choice between those has to be made by the 12th, just the same date as Oklahoma City Memorial Marathon as well. We will communicate that with you through email. Um, but we're trying to keep everything going just as we would if we were live um, to keep up everything. We will mail out your race packets. As Jordan said, if you choose to do uh, the Oklahoma Standard Challenge, you will get that from Tulsa Route 66 Marathon once you are ready for that and you've completed your challenge with them. Um, and we'll do one medal and a hoodie piece. Um, but we will go live here in just a moment on our Facebook channels to answer all the questions that you guys all might have. Um, but that's the basic gist of what your options are. You can run virtual, you can donate your race entry to Kicks for Kids, our sole charity, or you can defer to 2021 or 2020. I'll Thanks, pitch Destiny. it back over to Carrie. Thanks, Destiny. Yeah, you know, I think Destiny has been a great partner. And we've, we've kind of tried to work this through so that you guys are getting the most for what you paid for and you still get a run. It, it's not that we're not running. It's just that we're not running together. And we, we know you guys have worked through all kinds of weather to train. The runners have been so patient and, and um, committed to these, these causes. I think uh, for us, if, if you will just hang in there with us and trust us on this virtual run, it will be a, it will be an incredible run. It will just be different than um, than being out in front of the museum or being downtown Tulsa. It'll it'll just look a little different. But we're going to give you the the pelotons of all pelotons in the marathon world. I mean, it's going to be an incredible opportunity for you to be able to run a race and hear from some great voices of Oklahomans, great Oklahomans who cheer you on along the course. Uh, to hear from the governors and the mayors and all the people who are cheering you on for still trying to, 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 to kind of finish what you started. And for us, we'll give you a 20% coupon once you record your time uh, on, the, on the 
on the technology that we provide that then you'll get a 20% coupon code to run the 2021. So there's an incentive to hang in there with us in 2020 uh, and as there is in Tulsa. And I think you guys just, we're, we're all kind of, you know, charting these new waters together. And uh, it really does take me back to the days after the bombing when this state came together and we didn't know what we were doing. We'd been dealt a horrible blow. And how would we come together and just make it work? And that's what we're trying to do. And not trying to be dramatic, just trying to be really transparent that we're, we're working together to to make this the very best we can for runners. You guys have have such incredible strength and endurance, have shown so much to us over the last 20 years that we want to be able to pay you back. We, we could have canceled it and moved on, would have been the easier thing, but we want to give you an opportunity to to kind of run and earn that medal. The 20th anniversary medal for us is the medal of all times uh, created by our partners at at locally at Midwest Trophy. And so we're going to do some fun things that, as Destiny said, we'll roll out in Jordan said in the coming days, but it'll be an incentive and it'll be worth it. If you hang in there with us and run this virtually, you'll be glad you did.